something borrowed, something blue. Give us all your juicy news, sensational, irrational. It's Wedding Confessionals. Welcome to another episode of Wedding Confessionals. I'm Brooke. And I'm Pam. And the only thing we love more than weddings is talking shit about weddings. You know what else we love? What else? Summer breaks. <laughs> we do. Summer breaks. I was singing beforehand. I don't know were, why. Where was the twang this time? Oh, oh, yeah. I was like, summer breaks, y'all. I made like a country <laughs> hit. I'm going to be huge. Just you wait, guys. It's true. Hidden talent that nobody knew I had. Album's going to drop soon. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's what we should get into next. Screw podcasting. <laughs> I'm going to become a country music star. Yes, I love it. Um, But yeah, this is a summer break episode. Pammy and I decided to lighten our load. And um, why are you giggling? Just lighten your load. <laughs> <laughs> a euphemism no <laughs> um and not bring a guest in and just try to do a short fun episode where just the two of us chat about a wedding thing so if this is your first episode of wedding confessionals i mean welcome but it's not very traditional we're taking a, <laughs> we're taking a little summer break like we did last year it's not traditional we're eloping yeah <laughs> um so pammy yeah since we don't have a guest and we're gonna hold off on reading any confessionals this week yes we've decided that we do want to um do what we like to do when we're not reading confessionals which is read buzzfeed we do because buzzfeed <laughs> wedding articles they never they're end too fun and they're endlessly entertaining yes um we enjoy them <laughs> they do we, we love a listicle we love a quiz i love some perfectly placed gifs yes do you say gifs or gifs gifs Okay. Some people say GIFs. Really? The guy who invented GIFs says GIFs. GIF. I think he's dead now. But um, yeah, maybe he's not. I should look oh. that up. I'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> but I say, I think the world has decided GIF. on GIF, right? Yeah. It looks like GIF because GIF looks like Jiffy peanut butter. Yeah. It's right? not a J. It's a G. Yeah. Anyway, mm. now that we've gone through that. Okay. Um, What is the name of the BuzzFeed article that we're going to tackle today? Today we're doing, or going through, okay. rather, yeah. 22 things you can do to make your wedding day less stressful. Oh, that's a that's a happy topic. It is. I hope yeah. it doesn't make me mad. Because sometimes they have a list of things. <laughs> What's usually Vogue? We'll post that list of things that I'm supposed to like we and then I don't like it. Yeah. But this feels like a very zen, happy, summary thing to be talking about. Yeah. Stressful, less stressful Less stress life. is good. I like this a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, you going to read the first one? I'll read the first one. Okay. Number one, you don't always have to follow tradition. It's your day. Do whatever you want. Oh, so maybe we should say if we agree or disagree. Okay. I agree. Totally. Yeah. I Also, it's more fun for me as a guest. I've seen traditional weddings. If you want to have one, that's great. I'll also They're enjoy beautiful. it. They're beautiful. But I like a surprise. I like a style. Yeah. I like a, ooh, why is there a monkey here? <laughs> That's different. <laughs> I had cocktail hour before the ceremony. You did, girl. <laughs> that was fun. I, I think, I don't know what I did was non-traditional. I guess I maybe will wander through an apple orchard that was not as well marked as I would have liked. Because <laughs> we had it in the middle and I yeah. bought at the time what I thought was very thick ribbon. So it'd be very obvious that you would just follow the ribbon line yeah. down. Yeah. But then when you actually got there and I looked at the size of the ribbon versus a freaking tree and a bunch of forest area, it was like, this is not easily spotted. But there were people that pointed. It was fine. But after I Everybody did it, I was made like, it. yeah, it was fine. But during the effort of doing it, I was like, you know what? I didn't need to do this. So, you know, <laughs> you, somebody just would have pointed. <laughs> But yeah, I like non-traditional stuff. Do what you want, man. Exactly. All okay. for it. All right. I'll do number two. Okay. <clears throat> Don't use the word wedding when searching online for anything. It automatically makes everything more expensive. That's so true. True. Agree. Yes. Yeah. But I've also heard that the reason for that is you're paying for the craziness because brides are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to tack on like a crazy tax. Oh, that's amazing and kind of <laughs> true. That's great. Yeah. Well, you're dealing with people who want perfection yeah. for their perfect day. Yeah. And, also, you know, so good. Yeah. Go for it. I just think that, you know, to a point, yes, I guess when searching online, definitely leave out the word wedding. But at some point, you're going to have to tell the vendor that you're talking to that it's a wedding, right? Not true. What? The vendor that got my cupcakes. 
from and I got I did cupcake back to one. Yeah, I did cupcakes instead of a cake. And you did number two apparently. And I did number two. <laughs> <laughs> so when you call the cupcake place, do you specifically refuse to say the word wedding? I just put in my order for a shit ton of cupcakes. Oh, right. never said wedding. Didn't say anything about it. Nope. Okay, I blew up your spot because I picked up those cupcakes and I came in and just being like, I need these wedding cupcakes for Pam. <laughs> That's <laughs> why there was an extra part. tip. Yeah, then yeah. I give him all this money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say if I were like a caterer, like a legit caterer, and I was just told it was like a party, I know it would have been like, that bitch is in a white dress. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I actually do agree with this. Also, I think that if you take the word wedding out of your search, you might get to see more unique stuff, like things that maybe it's wouldn't possible. come up. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a certain type of thing. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, the, the world is your oyster, your non-wedding oyster. Okay. Wait, number how, how three. How are you saying that? Non-wedding oyster. Oyster? O- oyster. <laughs> o- oyster. There we go. Do you like oysters? Oh, yeah. Eh, I'll eat it. I'll eat I it. I worked at an oyster bar and it was, I was looking at them all the time. They're so gross. Here's the thing is I'll eat them, but they've got to have a shit ton of stuff on it. I'm like, why am I eating this if right. I have to eat it with so much stuff on it? Don't get me started on lobster. Oh, what? Everyone wants to add all this. Oh, you got to draw the butter and you got to either or that or like put it in mayonnaise and make it into like a lobster roll. If you had to do all this work, why am I paying <laughs> all this money for this damn thing? You know what I mean? An that, expensive a steak. Point. They just they're like, here's your knife and fork, ma'am. Enjoy with the lobster. They're like, here's all this random shit to make it actually flavorful, but it's still super expensive. Team shrimp. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah, yeah. I like Surf it all. and turf is for chumps. Oh, dang. <laughs> Not true. Um. Anyway, so now that we're done talking about oysters, <laughs> welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> all right, number three. Yeah. Only invite people you've talked to in the past two years. Ooh. Ooh, one of our brides recently said that. Yeah. Who was it? Do you remember? No. I know, but somebody that was here. Mm. Was it Danya? Did she say that? It's possible. Yeah, but I definitely remember one of our guests recently. And if you're marathoning the episodes, you'll know because you've heard it like two hours before. Yes. For us, it's been like a month. <laughs> but um, yeah, I. you know what? Not the worst thought. Yeah. I mean, that's... Did you do that? No. No. Me neither. Well, I, I mean, I think that's a hard one. I, I like the idea of that, but I think also the older you get, there's a lot of people that have been a part of your life and you may have not see them all the time, but you still want them a part of that special day. So I think you have to be in some sort of communication, whether it's like you like something on Facebook or you're in a text thread, not necessarily mm-hmm. talk, but I will say if you're trying to crunch some numbers and get the list down, then that yes. is a good rule that to is. kind of start slicing and dicing. Yes. You know, just mm-hmm. to kind of be like, well, I haven't talked to you in two years. So it's a good point. Yeah. Especially if you're keeping the numbers yeah. intact. But I mm-hmm. like it. It's a, it's not a bad idea. Person from BuzzFeed that su- suggested that. Okay, number four, hire a professional makeup artist. It'll be worth the money. Hmm. Did you do that? No. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what, though? I think if you're going for that look or you're going for a really polished look, I'm getting married in a bunch of apples, and I had no money. There was also rural Maine. What makeup artist would I have? <laughs> Hired. True. You have had think to there was one. fly one in. I don't have to like drive an hour and a half to Bangor to get my makeup done at Macy's and just hope it didn't like slick off my face. Oh my gosh. The time the fucking thing started. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, kind of the same. You know, I got married in a little more casual sense. Yeah, but backyard. also, I did theater for a very long time. Oh, that's true. So, me and makeup are friends. Yeah, you, your, your makeup's on point. You can do a really good liquid eyeliner. I've been doing it a very long time. I can't even. When I do it, I look insane. I always just start over. <laughs> um, but I will say, um, if you want a really polished look, they're definitely worth their money. Definitely. Because it's not that much money. No. And no. they do a good job. And also, way to make yourself feel super pretty and special on your day. It's really fun to have that pampering. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, I was there when um, uh, Andy Schreier was on the show, the mm-hmm. one that does our music. Um, I was uh, with her when she got her makeup done. And it really was. It was just like watching her become a princess. And her friend was using one of those like 
things, the little air. What is that? The air, the you know, the foundation they could put it on with like the oh, airbrush makeup. Airbrush makeup. Thank yes. you. I'm like this sound. What? <laughs> well, I'm like po- pointing at you while making a noise. Is that helpful? No, it really wasn't. I'm but sure I was the just listeners. fascinated by it. I was like, well, I just watched. Like, I, I and I'm sure actually it probably annoyed the the person doing it because she's like a she works in television. So she's like really good about just like banging people out, boom, boom, boom. And mm-hmm. so she knew exactly how much time she needed to do Andrea's makeup. And like she came on time. She was doing it. And meanwhile, I'm like all up in her face asking her questions. Like I was just like really interested in what she was doing because I'd never seen it done before. <laughs> and it's like, Brooke, shut up. This woman's trying to She's do like, her job. I don't job. have time for this. I know. I think at one point, Andrea was like, we're done with questions. <laughs> I was like, that's fair. I'm gonna go drink my mimosa. <laughs> that's hilarious. You guys shut down. We're done with questions. <laughs> You were stressing her out too. Uh, I think I was just excited, but I was yes. like, I had that like fun buzz where I'm just like really inquisitive, <laughs> like I am sober, right? <laughs> we're done with questions. Um, <laughs> number five. Oh, another thing is that um, uh, Cassandra McClure was on before mm-hmm. the makeup artist that we interviewed. Yes, and one of the things that she said is that a lot of them will stay with you the whole night. Yeah. So you have a really good face for like all the candid photos Pictures later. And yeah. yeah, it's good. That's like Important. you're like a freaking superstar. I yeah. like it. Um, number five. I think that's me. Yeah. yeah you're going to do, okay. odd. I think at this point we've established without really talking about it, that you do odds and I do evens. I love that you were paying attention to yeah. that. Okay. Number five. Don't forget to take your vitamins. No one wants to be sick on their wedding day. Do you believe in vitamins? Um, you're the one, the hippie one that makes me take that weird honey when I'm sick. It's true. Manuka it honey. It does work. It, it kind of works guys. It totally works. Do you take, cause I'm kind of, I, I'm, I'm really annoying. I'm the person that rolls my eyes about vitamins, but still takes like my turmeric pill and my vitamin to help my hair shrunk. Like, I kind of believe in vitamins, but the whole time I'm mad at myself that I believe in vitamins because they could be a hoax. I don't know. You might I've just heard, pee them out. I've heard so much both ways. So it's, yeah. it's hard to say. It's, I feel like if you're already eating healthy, why not throw them on the pile? You know, if you're already eating healthy, then you're already getting it. But like, maybe you're a little under on one one day. You know, you can get as much D as you wanted to this day. Of <laughs> all the vitamins. <laughs> maybe you didn't get enough D. Oh, Lord. <laughs> anyway, so do you... Then step out in the sun if you need some D. Yeah, I will say on top of this whole... <laughs> yeah, I think that if you are a vitamin person, I think in general, this is like being mindful of your health, which I definitely agree. Yeah, agree. And in vitamin yes. C, you want to maybe do some insure a couple of days before... Stop shaking hands with people that look like they have colds. Just give them a wave. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. So we agree with this one. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also, you know, it's one of those stress things too. So I think that's the that's also key is stress can make you sick. Yeah. So it's kind of a self soothing self care. Yes. Okay. So number uh, uh, number six is me. Um, make sure you eat something and dab your armpits before walking down the aisle. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just two, two very different beats, right? <laughs> but people are just sending in their suggestions. So I think it's like eat what and this dab, be- <laughs> eat and dab. The good old wedding day, eat and dab. <laughs> Stupid. Make sure you eat something that's very true. Yes, very true. Yes, yes. But don't overeat. No. Don't like get too full, and then you have problems, and then you're like bloated on the dance floor. Like, make sure you like just have a little bit throughout the night. Yes. Right? No. Do you want to chow down? No, you don't. But because they're walking around. Eating. No, I. You don't ever eat. Everybody says That's to true. eat, but nobody eats. It doesn't happen. You you get to eat your wedding food. You're all tangled. Am I? Am I making? It's okay. Keep talking about your wedding food. This isn't distracting at all, is it? Well, I mean, you are like a mess. I am a mess. You have to take your headphones off. All right. You're cutting this. (laughs) I'm not cutting any of this. This is fun. Um, (laughs) So I agree that for the most part, you definitely need to make sure you eat something. I think your best tip to kind of add, I cannot believe how tangled those headphones are. The best thing that you could add to the eating is have a friend. Usually it's going to be your maid of honor or one of your bridesmaids that is just on eat and drink duty. And their job is to make sure that you eat when you're supposed to and that you drink water. You don't need somebody to make sure that you drink alcohol. 
there'll be plenty of people bringing you champagne or a cocktail or whatever, but you need people to bring you the water. True. So have a buddy that can do that. And look at you. You're all, well, you're still a little tangled. I'm, I'm going to let mess, it go. Because now if I go for it, I'm just like pawing at your boobs. And I know. It's not that kind of, it's not that kind of show. Not, no. I already mentioned not getting enough D. <laughs> but dabbing your armpits before walking down the aisle. N- not a bad idea. It's a really good tip. Yeah. But I never even thought of that. No. Never even crossed my mind. Yeah. I, d- I definitely think that having some uh, deodorant in that little kit you bring with you, though, is essential. Yes. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Very but dab key. your armpits. Why not? I say throw it on there. Yep. Um, number seven. Number seven. Hire a good photographer. They'll catch all the memories you might miss. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Again, I had a very untraditional wedding. I know. Did you, what did you do? We um, we hired a friend to take pictures, and he did a wonderful job. He did, um, he caught some, you know, great, he, he did some setup shots, but yeah. then he also did a lot of candid, which was, yeah, you which got is great what dance we floor. wanted. Yeah. We wanted more candid. We didn't want the, the forced um smile family pictures we have a few of those but more for us in the way we wanted to remember our wedding because we weren't having a videographer um what we did with that is we hired or no, we didn't hire we bought those little flip uh video um little video cameras yeah back in the day phones. not it's not a flip phone but way back in the day it was yeah. these little teeny tiny video cameras and we had about five of them running around and we got amazing so candid. people anybody just in the crowd just grabbed one and just played with it yes we put little tags on them saying you know show us your your memory of the, our wedding oh, fun. and so it kind of got passed around because and... some people do that with like the throwaway um, cameras back mm-hmm. in the day mm-hmm. and now you just hashtag on instagram yes which is the modern day version yes which i think is a good idea um i was kind of a brat in the fact that i didn't have any money and i was like i don't care about photography We have enough friends that are either professionals in this industry that they'll just take some pictures and it will be fine. Mm -hmm. And my mother-in-law was like, I'm paying for a professional photographer. And I was like, well, it's on you then. I don't want to be involved. Pick whoever you want. I don't care. Like I was kind of like, I was so (laughs) anti it because we just didn't have any money. Yeah. And that was just the place where I was looking at numbers and being like, I can't do it. Like we're not doing it. And and I was like, and I don't really care. Like it's, I'm not a very formal person. It doesn't really matter to Mm -hmm. me. I will say I was fucking wrong. I am (laughs) glad we had those. And this is where I like, there have been times where I need to give somebody a good photo of somebody Mm -hmm. like, oh, do you have a good photo of so-and-so? And And I have somebody dressed up like people are in suits that rarely aren't in suits. There are Mm -hmm. people that are in dresses that usually aren't as dressed up. Everyone's hair and makeup are nice. I have like good pictures of my friends. Yeah. And like sometimes they need them for other stuff. So it's actually come up a couple of times and it's been really (laughs) helpful for other people. But I also think that in general, I have a couple of them up in my house. I genuinely happily that we did it. And I'm a jerk and I was wrong. So I will say if you can spend, a, if, even if you can't spend money, if you can dedicate one person who's actually good at it to helping you. Yeah. But if you can afford it, yeah, it's not the worst idea. And definitely ask around who's, who's already gotten married. Because another thing is that I have found that my friends that have had good experiences with their photographers, like they're really nice people and they're really flexible and cool to work with. Mm-hmm. They add to the vibe of the wedding day. Because the last thing you want is somebody who's just kind of a creep. <laughs> or it's like true lagging you know what i mean yes so yeah um hire a good photographer i would say sure i'm gonna say short of that one yeah within budget I- reasons agreed okay cool you're up next oh shit i was getting water <laughs> <laughs> so sorry everyone number eight keep records of all your gifts to make sure your thank you cards are on point definitely fact yep it is annoying. Non-negotiable. It is so annoying that when a package arrives, because a lot of times nowadays people are sending you stuff in the mail or if you're doing it at a shower, it's annoying to have somebody that has to like write stuff down, but you got to do it because you're not going to remember. Yes. And then you're going to look a dick. Mm-hmm. You're like, did they give me something? Did they not give me something? Mm-hmm. And what really sucks, I will say like the shower thing for the most part, I feel like everyone kind of likes 
you know, there's there's one type A in the group that will happily sit down and write sit everything down and write everything down yes. for you. Super like, ugh, they're, they're, they're those people. It's fine. We love them. Um, we need we them. are those people. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm like, ugh, those people. I'm like, hello, have we met? Um, but uh, besides that is that when the packages are just randomly mailed to you, it's really annoying because sometimes you just want to open the package and see what's inside and you forget to look for the card. Take a picture. Yes. Take you a have picture to do it immediately. with the card, with the present in the back, just one shot and yeah. then you know where it is. Yes. I had like a, it. I had like a spreadsheet. I'm sure I had of a Google doc. Did. I had a Google doc yes. and we kept up with it, which again makes it look you're checking off to see who gave you what gift in a bitchy way, but it really is for the thank you cards. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Um, <laughs> oh, and the other thing, uh, Noelle Berry, who was on the show. Yes. Well, I don't know if it was for your... My baby shower. Was it for your baby shower? Mm -hmm. Tell her cool tip. So what she does is she she takes down what everybody's getting, and then she does the cards like right there for you. And she gets everybody to um, put their address on the On the, the card, envelope. Yeah. On the envelope. And then she has everything. She pre-stamps them and she hands it to you. And she's like, here's your list. Here's everybody. It's already done. Like, yeah. all you have to do is write a little note and yeah. send in the mail. So like you got, so like for me, it already, I already wrote out my name and address on it. Already has a stamp and already has a return address because she knows your address. And then inside there's a thank you card and she just put a post-it on it and wrote what it was that I gave you. Yep. Genius. So great. So smart. Loved her for steal that. Steal that. Steal that. Everyone yes. steal that. Noelle's a genius. <laughs> it's true. Are we next going on? Moving sure. on? Sure. All right. Yeah, I mean. Unless you want to compliment Noelle more. We she's very just, pretty. She's a Great genius. Great hair. Beautiful. Yes. Mm. All right. <laughs> um, number nine. Create a separate email address just for wedding stuff. That's dumb. Eh, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't get enough emails to do that. But they're going to get mixed up because your friends are going to email you about stuff. That's true. You're signed up. I just feel like that's a bad idea. Just create a Something folder. Something will get lost. Create a folder. Yes. Organize yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some people would like that. If you do feel overwhelmed, I just feel like since I already have like a work email address and a home one and I still have an old Hotmail address, I can't seem to shake. I don't know why. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Yes. I don't, the idea of adding another email address to my life, I'm just like, oh, fuck that. Yeah, I'm with you. So I guess if you're like me, don't feel bad that you're a bad person for not wanting to do it. But if it does calm your nerves to have everything organized, sure. Sure. Yeah. If it works for you, do it. Yes. We're, we're either or on that one. We're medium. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, no, it's you. Yes. Dang it. <laughs> Number 10. Don't go into debt just for a wedding. That should be number one. Number one through 22 <laughs> yes. should be that. that should number be the uno. <laughs> oh my God. Really don't. Please don't. Nope. Don't do it. Not worth Never it. Never worth it. Nope. Nobody cares. I, I know people care about being at your wedding and being a part of your life and are excited for you to start this next journey. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody's excited about the idea of you going broke. Nope. No one cares. They don't. Do what you can afford. Absolutely. 100%. Right? Yes. Ugh. Yes. I couldn't agree with that more. Yes. And hint to the future because we're going to talk about money in another episode. Yes, so stay tuned. Teaser. Um, number 11, Pammy? Number 11. Keep the food coming. Your guests will thank you. Prayer yes. hands. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yes. I mean, if this wasn't a thing, you wouldn't have been talking about putting power bars in your purse. I do it every time. And it's necessary. I don't it understand. It, timing, uh, catering's complicated. I I get that, if, especially if you're doing two locations. Yeah. So if the wedding is at one place and then, you know, it's so long and then you have to travel to the next place and then there's cocktail hour, which is never enough food to really get you going. Yeah. It's a little little teaser it but. matters how long this is the other thing the cocktail hour food might be chill and enough if the wedding started on time but weddings mm. never do so you know what i mean yeah you just don't go don't walk into the beginning of a wedding starving you're gonna hate the ceremony. <laughs> you're gonna be grumpy through cocktail hour. You're not gonna be happy. Your to stomach's you have your gonna food. growl yeah. during the ceremony. Yes, like I've never want. 
me personally, I always go to a wedding with the power bar ready to go. Yeah. And also ready to be medium slash disappointed about food. And then if I'm wrong, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> But I don't go in this as like some fine dining experience. Like you're feeding a bunch of people all at once. I don't blame people. It's not their, you know, it's not their fault. They try to do the best they can. Yeah. But um, I just think that, I think that the idea of having either a table of crackers and cheese mm-hmm. or some chips and salsa, that's what um Adam and Barry did. They had like a whole platter out. Mm-hmm. So having a station that's just cheap stuff, just that you have something. Oh, it's, it's super important. Smart. Also keeps you from getting too drunk. We had that too. (laughs) Just saying. Uh, Keep the food coming. Yes. Your guests will thank you. Yes. 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 We agree. Number 12. Let other people help you. Yes. 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 (laughs) This list is wonderful. It's like the opposite of Vogue. Yes. I know. Right. (laughs) We're we're not even writing this down. I know. We're just like, you're great. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Well, that's because it's submitted by people that have already gone through They've this or there. they're in the process of planning it. So they True. know what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. These are these are our people, man. They speak our language. They know. Yes, really. Not only let p- other people help you, ask for help early. That's a good because point. Because last minute asks can sometimes be very difficult for people if they have work schedules or children or other obligations. Yes. Giving people a heads up. Everyone wants to be a hero. Everybody loves helping. I know you think they don't. I mean, some people don't. Some people are selfish dicks. Most people like helping. (laughs) Right? It's true. Yeah. I like helping. Yeah. And also, I will say, too, try to match the person with the task. (laughs) That's a very good point. Really try to think about what you're asking of the person in front of you. Don't just blindly throw it out there. Not everybody is crafty. Not everybody is crafty. Mm-mm. But everybody can pick up the wine. Pick up, do it. Yeah. yeah you know There's what I mean? There's always a job for, for somebody. Yeah. I mm-hmm. can, I, you need me to like put a stamp on something? I can handle that. Some real crafty shit? No, ma'am. <laughs> I, I cannot. I'm not good at it. I cannot draw a straight line. Have you ever seen me like cut, try to cut a straight line with no, scissors? No, but I want to see it. Oh, it's embarrassing. I always, and I try to trim to make up for it, and then it looks even worse. It's always like awkwardly triangular. <laughs> And I always thought with age, I would get better at it. Nope. No. <laughs> Not me. How are you with wrapping paper? Do you follow the lines on the back? I try. <laughs> <laughs> I also think I need to invest in better scissors. That could be. I don't know. I always just fold it to make up for it. I'm a good wrapper. Just bag it. it looks okay. My wrapping, it's not a bad. I care. But it's not. It's not. It's like a B. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it wasn't done in the store. <laughs> oh dear. That's all right. That's Number all right. 13. 13. Think about the things people will remember about your wedding and focus on that. Oh, I like that. I think that goes back to don't worry about being traditional. Like think about something that's uniquely you. Sure. Okay. So that way you don't like, like don't spend a boatload of money on the chairs. Like if you have your choice between like cheaper chairs and you're looking at your budget. Go with the cheaper chairs. Go with the cheaper chairs. Nobody's going to look. Gives everybody a incentive to get up and dance. Yeah. They sit for two seconds. Yeah. They cares. eat a couple bites and go dance. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, put it, spend it on something maybe with your dress or some other fun thing that you want to add. Put that money to that photographer. There you go. Yeah. I like this idea. That's really smart because you can't spend a lot of money on everything. I mean, if you can, cool, please invite me. It sounds like a great wedding. But you know, realistically, people have budgets. I like yeah. that idea. And that also kind of takes the stress off of your brain to be like, okay, this this little thing is my priority and this thing isn't. True. I you mean, you can't stress about everything. No. And you know, we did, uh, my wedding was very much on a very small budget. Sure. And instead of having centerpieces, we did rose petals. Oh. So, yeah, I didn't spend a ton of money on flowers, but we still had them. They I, were there. I have a dumb question. Yeah. Do you have to just buy the roses and pull them off or do they sell you bags of rose petals? They sold us bags of rose petals. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I always wondered that when I see it, you know, like when they throw them down. The, I've never had a need to buy them. Mm-hmm. But I've always been like, Is somebody just plucking them. Like, how's that working? <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Yes. That's smart. Uh, that's really cool. Oh, I bet they feel so soft when you're playing with them. That's a fun job. Um. <laughs> There's just different ways of, I, I love this, you know, focus yeah. on different things. Yeah. Yeah. Figure out what you don't care about and then don't spend money on it because who cares? Yeah. Um, number 14. If you can, try to sell your wedding decor. Huh. 
I've heard of this. Really? I have a friend who bought some things for her wedding. What things? Well, Rustic is very in, and mm-hmm. she was buying a lot of, like, Rustic-y type wedding stuff. Like on Craigslist? hmm Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I would never think to sell. That's so funny. It was already, I like, mean, pre-made, and yeah. That's smart. Mm-hmm. I'm not, hey, if you like this sort of thing, if you're a type of person that likes to throw a yard sale or doesn't mind Craigslist, yeah, I said go for it. That sounds like a big pain in the ass to me. But if you're into it, do it. <laughs> I would never. I would never even bother. I'd be like, I don't want people to come into my house. I don't want to haggle you over $4. Like, I'm done. Oh, dear. <laughs> I bought everything cheap. Everything was from Ikea. <laughs> um, it is fun because Ikea still sells the enamel pitcher that I used um, for my centerpieces. Oh, yeah. So every time I go to Ikea and I mean, near the like, a flower and all the vases and pictures, mm-hmm. I see it and get nostalgic. I'm like, oh, my wedding. Oh. And then I'm like, get me the fuck out of here. Ikea drives me nuts. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. It's just by the time you've gotten to the flowers and the the vases, you're near the end of Ikea. And That's it's true. just... No, you're at the end. You're, you're at like, your end emotionally and true. physically with the store. True. And you're like, get me out of here. Yep. I just get me to the, that I'm froyo. with you on that. <laughs> so good. Treat yourself. Um, One back. Are you next? I'm Rex. Okay. Number 15. Have snacks over a sit-down dinner. Hire a tall photographer and let your wedding party pick what they want to wear oh this is a lot okay these are and i'm gonna hit them in points okay okay have snacks over a sit-down dinner i think they must mean like heavy hors d'oeuvres right i'm still a no (laughs) um depending on the time of day and your budget true but i'm thinking you know, Heather Woodward, and they did, they yeah. didn't do sit down, but well, that was in the also middle of the night. Exactly. But honestly, the I amount of that. food they had with the tater tots and the past apps, it pretty much was as, as much food as a meal. Um, also, if you have some like sort of a brunchy thing, sometimes people do that. Um, I do think also buffet style stuff, isn't that expensive? If you look around, you shop around. That's not a snack. No, I'm saying I'm saying pro dinner. Oh, pro dinner. Pro food. Copy. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, and I also think if, if you need to cut one thing, I would make your appetizers cheaper in order to keep the meal. I agree. Yeah. Do but me, but hey, meal. but again, if you're on a budget, I get it. Do yes. what you got to do. But bam, as we said, get the food, food, keep it flowing. So maybe it's just you just keep it flowing. You won't even care. But people want to sit at some point. That's the thing. That's the thing about the dinner. It's the part where you get to sit down. Yes. But I guess you sat through the ceremony, so maybe you don't need to sit down anymore. You need to, you need to sit okay. a little bit because, you. yes, you did sit. So through. you're pro, you have to have a but meal. But you're in, I'm, I'm pro meal. Yes, okay. I am right. pro meal. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm a little more wiggly on that one. Um, let's move on to the next topic of okay. hire a tall photographer. Uh, Can I tell you as a tall person? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. Let me tell you the difference okay. of how I look when one of my short ass friends takes a picture of me and when one of my tall ass friends takes a picture of me. I look so much better. Everyone looks better. That's a good point. I All mean, right. hey, you can't help it. Like hire who you hire, but they should know how to angle the camera. There we go. That's what really needs to happen. They need to know how to there make their... There are stools for that. Yeah. Or your arms go up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But okay. So... If In you're thinking that way, yes. yes but I, also, like, you can just look on the photographer's page of pictures to see if they're, like, they their make height. good angles. And a good photographer, <laughs> I will say, besides the tall thing, is that a good photographer takes a bunch of different angles all at once so that some look terrible, but some look great. I mean, yeah. if you really think the day you get all your pictures back from your photographer, that you're going to look stunning in all of them. Like get over yourself. (laughs) Every celebrity, you know, that's beautiful looks, Oh, is Tristan home? Bye Ruth. Ruth. See ya. Yeah. She wants to go say hi to her boyfriend. Yeah. She's done with us. Yep. Um, but, um, you know, you're not going to get picture perfect every picture. That's just not how it works. And honestly, there's so many that they're just never even going to share with you. It's true. Especially now in this digital age. Before, when it was like you had to, you know, have all the film and all the stuff, but digital, everything's so cheap just to take a bazillion pictures. Yes. So you won't see the really, really bad ones. No. And nobody has to see the awkward ones if you don't want to. Yeah. You're in control. I like it. Um, and then let your wedding party pick what they want to wear. Mm, no. We're 
going to say no. It's up to you. If you want to do that, if that's your deal. Correct. Cool. Yes. But if you have a vision and it's within reason. Then, yeah. Yeah, it's that's, your day, man. That's what you're choosing. You want to be traditional. Yeah. And that's one of your traditions. I get it. I'm with you. Ready to move on? Let's do it. Number 16. Spend the day before your wedding doing what you love and make sure you get some sleep. This is the rehearsal day? Yeah. Okay. I mean... If you have the time, sure. I was going to say, in theory, this sounds amazing. It's like, what do you actually love, though? Let's find out what it is. In reality? Yeah. I mean, if you're talking like a massage or something like that. Right. I can see going and doing something that's going to... Like, or something that's non-wedding related. Or, or a yeah. pet, mani-pedi, something like that that's super relaxing and whatnot. But it's still... I mean, your list the day before is still a million miles long. Yeah. Well, also, that's when family's in town, you're doing the rehearsal, you're doing the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. That's sometimes a big ask to then put the pressure on yourself to also fit in, I don't know, tennis. But <laughs> I do think there's nothing wrong with doing a small something that yeah. kind of takes a break, like you said, like some sort of mani-pedi or a massage or something like that's really fun. And that's also sometimes something that you could potentially connect with the people that are in from out of town. Yes. Your aunts and your grandma are in from out of town. Let's get your nails done. Yeah. That sounds like fun. I, I mean, like I don't get my nails done, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> my God, the idea of people touching my hands like that. Oh my God. And goodness. my feet? I don't know how you do it. I mean, guys, I look, they're fine. <laughs> they're not scraggly. I just keep them really short. They're but short. just the idea of like a stranger holding my hands. It's a lovely experience. You're just crazy. It's so bizarre to me. It's not. <laughs> I, I, acknowledge due to the plethora <laughs> of manicure places out there that I am the oddball out. Okay. But. No, ma'am. <laughs> I cannot tell you, by the way, how many rando gift cards I've gotten over the years for Manny Petties that I just like give to other. I'm like, eh, we're going to re-gift that. There you go. <laughs> um, and make sure to get some sleep. Yes, please. Try. Maybe get a volume. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're push. Oh, jeez. I'm Listen, I'm not pushing a lot of drugs. I'm going to say maybe a sleep aid, an over-the-counter okay. sleep aid. Not no. like. No. Like a sleep aid? I don't know. I really can't talk about this because I can sleep at any time. Any oh, place, no. When so. I'm nervous, I would. I didn't sleep a wink the night before my wedding. Really? Yeah, because the to-do list. It yeah. wasn't even excited like, OMG, I'm going to be a bride. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, do I have time for everything? Did I forget anything? It was like, and I just, I was just laid there just angry that oh, I couldn't no. sleep. And knowing that I wasn't sleeping, that I would be tired the next day yeah, and then on. get more mad. Yeah. I need to sleep. Totally. <laughs> Ah. no but you know they have now like the nyquil that's just for sleep stuff i think it's like purple i think oh. it's like sleep quill or something mm. so it's like the same it's like whatever vix or whatever that brand but they basically just took that part of the drug and took out all the cold stuff perfect yeah i'm just saying all right and not too much so you don't be groggy the next day exactly experiment a couple weeks beforehand <laughs> that's a there you go experiment with drugs everybody welcome to wedding don't, confessional don't try it then on the actual night before your wedding. This isn't the wedding. time to try value no. for the first time. No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Number 17 before I stay too much and <laughs> potentially get arrested. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 17. Don't waste your money on fancy food. Get the stuff that you like to eat. I like that. I like that. I like that yep. a lot. I like the idea of get stuff that you want to eat. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. Because that probably means it's what people around you want to eat. And if they don't, screw them. There you go. But yeah, I do think the idea of not going to like the fanciest caterer, that potentially there's a restaurant in town that you like that does catering. Yes. That's the thing. Check. Check yeah. their websites. You'd be surprised how like, many restaurants. And you can ask too, yeah. because I was trying to do a, a pancake party for my daughter's second birthday. Mm -hmm. And there's no catering for pancakes. Pancake party? Yeah, no. But I went to a restaurant that we go to often and we know them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, can I order a bunch of pancakes from you? And they were like, okay. Cool. So just ask. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Place that you love to eat. Yeah. Give them a call. Yep. Uh, 18 is me. Yes. Give someone your phone the day of the wedding and have them act like your secretary. Yes. Yeah. I did this for two days before. Two? Well, because I was driving around. Oh, right, right. And this was before like headsets were really a thing. So my friend Katie sat next to me and was like my passenger slash like answer the phone and like it was relaying everything. It was very, very helpful. Yeah. I, yeah. I think this is I think that's really smart. One. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, yes. That was Hi- easy. Wholeheartedly. Yes. True. <laughs> Number 19, there are a lot of things that you can do online that will save you time and money. As Uh, in... uh, uh, That was a vague one. Uh, Yes. Oh, maybe they mean like doing like invitations digitally rather than paper. Is that what they mean? I'm going to guess that's what they mean. Okay. Yeah. Like thank you cards. Don't do a thank you email. That's... No. But if you want to do a digital invite, fine. Yeah. Who cares? I used to be pro paper. I used to be, but now I'm I'm changing a little bit. Wow. Getting soft on my old oh, age. Oh, yeah. hey. Look who's so modern with her little <laughs> online <laughs> digital evites. Um yeah, no, I think that's what they're getting at. In that case, we agree with you, vague number 19. Yes. <laughs> on to 20. <laughs> Hire a wedding coordinator so you can actually enjoy the party. Well, listen, money bags. Not everybody can afford a wedding coordinator. Day of. Day of. Day day of. of. Most people can afford a day of. Or find a fringy coworker who's bossy and hire them. Give them like 100 bucks. Yes. Just find somebody who would just thrive in that environment. You know you know that person. Everybody's got that person. I'm that person. It's broken. It's Pam too. Don't even <laughs> don't put this all on me. It's Pam too. You would too. be great. You would be a great day of coordinator. Yes, I like bossing people around. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we agree with that. Actually, at least the day of. But yes, I will say, um, who was it that was on before that was talking about using a wedding coordinator in Palm Springs? That was Courtney. Courtney, mm-hmm. and she's like, it was a lifesaver. It was. She, she loved her coordinator. Yeah. Yep. And if you can find a, you can really bond with them. Amanda's great. Amanda's Shout out. Good. Yep. Amanda Walker has been on the show. Salt Wonderful. and Sparrow. Yeah. Salt and Sparrow.com guys. Hook it up. It's true though. I think, uh, you know, especially the day of, if you can, Yes. you can afford that. But yes. Or if you really are just like crunching numbers and you really can't make something work again, try to find a fringy person who would just love the opportunity to be present and boss people around, and- but not too mean. You don't want to cause too much drama. (laughs) Exactly. No. And actually, um, the person who was my day of was um, Kelly, who was who had three three weddings. Yes. Um, If anyone knows how to do it, it's the girl that had three weddings in different countries. Three weddings is a uh, is a major in the army. Three weddings, two countries, one bride. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she was fantastic as my day of coordinator. Oh, shout out. Number 21. 21. If your wedding vision is hijacked by relatives, elope. That is a what? very personal suggestion. That's... That feels like unpacking something that happened to you specifically that isn't really a good tip to share with the general public. I don't know if this makes How your you life stress-free. Hijack is... your vision. Is this like that girl that was the... like the donuts? Yes. You can't use blue and you can't have donuts donuts. because I fuck a cop. Fuck that lady. (laughs) And I'm going to get really close to your wedding date. Yeah. Before it. (sighs) Who cares? I mean, I will say if your wedding vision is hijacked by relatives, I'm going to say don't elope. I'm going to say live your life. Who cares? Do it the way you want to do it. Do what you want. If they have no style and they stole your ideas. I mean, it's fine. They're all weddings. Yes. (laughs) We're all stealing at some point somebody yes. else's vision yes. and idea. Pinterest is just stealing. Pretty much. You just stole from a stranger. It's true. <laughs> stealing from strangers. Well, I definitely <laughs> need to pitch to Pinterest my new marketing campaign for them. Hey, so it's... How do you like stealing from strangers? Yeah. Come on, good. Pinterest. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Number 22. And if you still have any doubts, dot, 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 ho, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, eloquently put, I do agree. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. If you have doubts, it's not going to get any easier. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, man. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a downer of a way to... (laughs) Number two. Fun, cute tips. (laughs) Until you get to the last one. I know. The last two were super dark. Yeah, they kind of (laughs) were. Well, I mean, right. they're not wrong, though. I mean, the elope one is weird. We should have cut it fun. at 20. Uh, <laughs> it should have just been 20. I like that we were honest. 
<laughs> I like that. It ends on a weird note. I'm kind of fine with it. BuzzFeed, you really know how to take a turn. All right. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did the list. And now we're going to go on to our bridal breaks. Yeah, yeah. Bridal breaks, for anyone who doesn't know, um, are just suggestions we give not only to brides, but anyone helping to plan a wedding of fun things to do that have nothing to do with weddings. Nothing. So step away from your relatives that sabotage your visions <laughs> yes <laughs> and do these fun things instead um pammy you always give a beverage what's your drink of choice this week my drink of choice this week and i picked it because it was really pretty <laughs> pretty <laughs> i gotta admit the the picture of it just like really drew me in. found it on liquor.com nice and yep <laughs> and it's called the magenta sour cocktail. Ooh la la! It looks very pretty. It's, it's like this so pretty. magenta and like cute little like up glass. It's so pretty, like a champagne kind of a glass. It's an interesting drink, though. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure how. I mean, I hope that it tastes as good as it looks. I, I wonder if I'd like it, it more than you. You probably would. Let's hear it. Okay, I like the boozy ones. All right, mm -hmm. the ingredients. Yep, scotch. Yes, ginger liqueur. Okay. Lemon juice. Yep. Maple syrup. Mm. Beetroot powder. Okay. Egg white. Mm -hmm. And aromatic bitters. You know, I don't know if we talked about it on this podcast, but egg white cocktails are a pain in the ass to have made, but they really are very They're good. So good. We did I the pisco sour. Yes. It was really good. Yes. I, you know what? Thumbs up. I would like that. It, I, I like the, the mixture of like the sour with the maple. I think I would end up liking it a lot. It looks very pretty too. The sweet and the sour and the ginger and mm -hmm. I don't know, all of it together. Yeah. But Mom, mama like? It's beautiful. What's it called again? It's called the Magenta Sour. The Magenta Sour from liquor.com. Yes. Um, my suggestion for this week is um, very on brand for me. Um, <laughs> so remember how um, I started watching Escape to the Country? which mm -hmm. was that Netflix series all about British people leaving the city and going to like out into like house hunters. Yeah. Right? It's like house hunters, but British and only looking at rural establishments right. in the countryside. It's just like so fucking soothing and British and adorable. <laughs> well, my friend, um, Katie, the girl that was helping me with the phone on, yeah. during my wedding planning, um, she knows how she loves British shit too. So she texted me and she was like, do you know about escape to the continent? And I'm like, no, what? the same show. I'm going to take British people from the city and take them all over Europe. Oh, yeah. So we've already been to Austria and I've already been to Spain. I'm on the third episode now. It is adorable. You love it. I love it. Also, <laughs> the prices, the places are huge. But that's the whole point is that like England, even out in the rural countryside, like just the price of the pound versus where you go someplace else and sure. what it's worth and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, holy fuck with these places. I'm like, am I moving to Austria? Maybe. Maybe. I don't really like the cold, but like, uh, shit, I got to get a scarf. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> it really is. It's so pretty. And the people are cute. And they always do some sort of like part where you learn something about um, historic about the land that they're visiting. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get a little bit of a history lesson. I will warn you, I had forgotten that each episode they switch hosts. And that's very emotionally jarring to me because oh, right, right, I right. got really, ex I fell in love with the first host and the second episode started and I was like, you're not my real mom. Like, who are you? <laughs> like, oh no. I'm not okay with this, but it really is. It's super beautiful. And there's a fun new twist that they've added into the season that I will not tell you guys. <gasps> Besides the mystery house, there's another thing they've thrown on that I was like, Ooh, that's a good idea. But you I'm like going to, I'm going to save that All one right. for the listeners. So it's on Netflix. Netflix. I'm sure it's also available in the UK forever. So our UK listeners are like, what the shit, Brooke? Thanks for the suggestion for the show that's been on forever. But it's on Netflix and it's kind of new for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's the bridal break. So it's only the two of us. That's it. Just the dose. And now we have to get into our quiz. But before we start, Pam, I do have to tell you something. Uh-oh. I put us on another podcast provider. Yay. Uh, yeah, you see, that's the response that I like. You're supposed to say yay, not, oh, no, I have to learn another one. <laughs> well, I'm saying that in it's, my inside voice. It's called Radio Public. Radio Public. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> we're not timing today. We're not timing today. I don't have the patience. It's summer, <laughs> it's summer break. You shouldn't be timed. It's All right. No break. homework. I'm going to write at the bottom because I haven't edited it officially. Radio. Radio. Public. public. 
Radio Public. Radio Public. Not Public Radio. Not, radio not Public. Radio Pubic either. Not, Don't nope. get dirty. <laughs> you already went there. Now you know. <laughs> we hit the explicit button. I can say what I want. <laughs> um, so, Pam, uh, <laughs> where can listeners find more information about the show, including show notes? Weddingconfessionals.com. We are all over social media. Where can you follow us? You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, we want you to please share share your confessionals with us. I know we, we didn't do them. any this week, but we do usually do them, yes. obviously, and we love them. Just we send do. us your anonymous They're questions, so great. complaints, rants, random stories. We love them. Three ways that you can send it to us. We make it as easy as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, an email address, which is what, Pammy? Weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. The phone number is 434-933-2663. 434-933-2663. That was nice. I didn't even make you try. Thank you. Um, and then the other way is to go to our website, which again is... Weddingconfessionals.com. And hit on the tab that says... Tell us your secret. Tell us your secret. Yeah. From there, you just fill out a quick form. It's a name that you can make up. Sure. We don't care. No. And then um, you can even be clever. We love it when you guys have clever names. And then you uh, guys are fun. Yeah. You you know how to play <laughs> along. Uh, and then underneath you just type out whatever questions or, you know, things you need to get off your chest. Mm-hmm. We're here for you. Yep. Maybe you want to tell us about how your relative sabotaged your wedding, so therefore you eloped. Yeah. What a dramatic thing to do. Anyway, if you that was you, please write us cuz I'm intrigued. We need more info on that <laughs> one. So um, we are on Apple Podcasts slash iTunes, Pammy. Mm-hmm. In order to move up into the search engine so more people can find us, we ask for people to subscribe. We love that. And we like them to um, give us a, a rating and a review. How many stars do you prefer, Pam? I prefer five. It's summer, so I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to say five as well. Thank you. <laughs> Besides um, Apple podcast slash iTunes. Yes. Um, let's rattle off the rest of the places you can find our lovely podcast. All right. What's the new one? Radio Public. Yes. Whew. All right. I'm done, right? Yep. That's it. Um, <laughs> I'm, we're going to play. We're going to go back and forth because I think that's fun. Just okay. to give you a break. Okay. Go. Um, Podbean. Google Play. Stitcher. Player FM. Um, Spotify. Uh, Pod Paradise. <laughs> um, Podcast Republic. Podcast Land. Um, Pocket Cast. Oh wow, I forgot about Pocket Cast. Cast Box. <laughs> um, Podcast Addict. Uh, yeah, that? no, that was good. Overcast. Downcast. Castro. Uh, that's where I was going next. Um, iHeart Radio. Yep. Uh, YouTube. And I'm pointing at my butt. <laughs> And wagon, pod tail, pod tail. That's right. By the way, pod guys, tail. when I pointed at my chest, she got I heart radio immediately. I pointed at my butt, and she's like, "I don't know what dirty thing you want me to say." <laughs> I'm like, "I don't remember a butt radio. Is that another new one?" Pod butt. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a pod butt. I'm gonna there get us on be. there. <laughs> yep, there really should be. Um, and that's it, guys. <laughs> Thanks for enjoying our summer break. Yay! See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Special thanks to Andy Schreier for our adorable theme song, and to Ramsey Malay and Brian Maylard for their technical support, which we desperately needed. Want to make sure you don't miss a single episode? Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, or SoundCloud, and make sure to give us a five-star rating, or give us a four if you're being judgy like us. If you have a crazy story to tell or need some advice, you can reach us by going to our website, WeddingConfessionals.com. Or you can email us at weddingconfessionals at gmail.com. Or leave us a voice message at 434-933-2663. That's 434-933-2663. And as always, we will never reveal the names in order to protect the innocent and the annoyed. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're looking for those links, you can find those and more at our website, which you haven't figured out by now is weddingconfessionals.com. See you guys next time. Bye.